All right. Hello everyone. Welcome to Hot Pencil. I am Shells and today's video I am going to be reviewing I the iPen X1 and this is a free sample I received from this young company. Um, as some of you may have known uh, lately my old stylus is broken so I was looking for another stylus and uh, I bought a, a I bought this I bought a, the previous stylus from the same company but it was a, a, a much earlier version of the very same stylus um, I was satisfied with the precision I was satisfied with the way the pencil work except it has one killing um, feature that I didn't really got into where the pencil will shut itself off in the middle of work it doesn't matter if you're still using it it will just shut itself off and that was a major turn off for me because when I'm working with a, a stylus um, when I'm working on a canvas I usually draw with it it usually takes me more than an hour to finish with it so I will every 30 minutes I'll have to power on the stylus now let's let me show you what's inside the box of the iPen X1 now it's very straightforward. It looks actually it looks like an Apple made product product based on how the packaging is made. All right, let me just get out. Okay. Um, first thing you're gonna find. Hopefully, I'm taking this out properly. All right, this little packet on top of the pen is where you will find the user manual and also the charging cable and uh, to my surprise they also included um, replacement tape for this stylus so if you're buying the stylus you're getting four replacement tape a charging cable a very short charging cable which is fine because it's a stylus and then you're gonna get the course of the jour which is this stylus now the stylus has two parts. This is the stylus by itself, and this is the charging cap. You can see it right here. This is a this is using a USB C. I think yeah. it's fairly short, right? It's not too long. It's not the same length as the Apple Pencil, and it's not heavy stylus. at all. Then you know what you will do is you will just use this cap, put it on top of there and you will charge the pen with it and those two parts they, they, they use magnets so you just slap it on there you don't have to screw anything it stays on there let me see all right i'm just it's my first time doing this i'm kind of scared of shaking it but for the sake of the video i'm gonna shake it so it's very secure on top of it. and what i'm gonna move on to next is gonna be me using that pen with a, an application i use all the time which is procreate Alright guys, I am back and uh, you know, a lot of you may be wondering why I'm using the stylus and not the actual Apple Pencil. I just wanted to make this clear. I am still using the iPad Air 2 and as far as I know, the Apple Pencil is not supported by the phone I'm using. So this is ideal because it's not only locked to the iPad ecosystem and the iPhone ecosystem or the Apple ecosystem rather, it's a stylus and you can use it with your Android and phone it's and like double the uses for a very small amount of fee. It doesn't it's not expensive. I haven't bought it yet, but I don't imagine this to be as expensive as the Apple Pencil. Now let's check out the real reliability of this pen. Gotta open Procreate here. Oh my goodness, I haven't turned on the pen yet. So here's a very this one feature that I found out about this pen that really put a smile on my face and I said, wow, this looks bloody sexy. It's the way you turn it on, right? It's and there's no button around here. And like, where is it exactly? You just press this just like a normal pen and bam. Here's a light here. How freaking sexy is this, man? Gee, that's that's some I mean, at least for me, I like that. I really like that design. And if they're gonna follow up with a third version of that pen, keep this. This is really cool. All right, I'm not even gonna talk about the clipper. That's a no-brainer. You can you you can use that clipper to carry it around. But I, but I usually carry it in this case. Okay, I prefer to carry my stuff in a case rather than my than in my pocket. So it's not it, it doesn't it, it's not a feature that I really give a that I really care. It's not a feature that I really care about. All right, as you guys can see, 
I'm fairly experienced with Procreate and I have used many other type of styluses, um, ones that have pressure sensitivity and ones that doesn't have pressure sensitivity. And here, that, that's all, that's my work. That's from some of my work from 2019, 2000, and you will see it. Oh my goodness, I zoomed in. Um, I didn't mean to do that. Give me a second. And if, you see, if you're looking here, right, I've worked from 2019, 2018, some of the works I did for some folks, um, and 2017, and some of the works I moved off of my iPad, um, dates all the way back to 2015. So I know how a stylus should feel like when you're drawing with it on an iPad Air 2. Now let's go, let me go to my X34 folder for 2006, 2019, and I'll just create a new canvas. Oh my goodness. This is the pencil I'm using. See, I need to press this plus button. That's precision right here. Okay, screen size. Now, I am gonna test this pen. I'm gonna put the cap back on. Okay, I'm gonna test this pen at, for skipping. Usually when you buy those styluses, the main error, the main problem with them is the fact that there is no such thing as a continuous line. Now, look at my hand. I'm not editing this video at all. Okay, I'll just put it on there. Oh my goodness, I took too long for it. That's that's not the pen error, that's Procreate. And I'll just move my hand all the way, you see? Continuous, not changing at all. Let me just keep on going. Any line line width modification is from the brush and the software, not the pen. The pen doesn't have pressure sensitivity. It doesn't connect Bluetooth by Bluetooth to your tablet. You just power it on and use it with your tablet. Look at it. Works like magic. Let me go to another layer. Okay. Now we're going to test precision. How you test precision? Me personally, I test it with a circle. Uh, that's too small. Oh my goodness, I'm on the wrong layer. All right. Why? Okay. Here it is. Close enough. Close enough. As you can see, I can create a full circle with it and it follows my hand writing or hand blah 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 and it works properly right okay the next part of the, of this test for me is gonna be me using this to create a finished artwork with it and I want to see if the auto shut off is still a problem for this thing and I'm fairly confident that they might it might not be a problem anymore but I can tell you here my friend this is satisfying and in case you guys are wondering if you're not used to art uh, digital art I'm using an anti-static glove which keeps my hand from it at least it is supposed to keep my hands from interacting with the screen and only the pencil should so I can rest my hand on there with no problem and still draw that's what it, it's supposed to be doing but the, the glove is not that great anyway um, okay and it's fairly old